It can pretend to be someone else and it can potentially outsmart us. Artificial intelligence. Those developing it believe it will solve the problems of the future. But is it advancing too quickly and are we prepared for what's to come? I am not Morgan Freeman and what you see is not real. This isn't Tom Cruise. It's all the real thing. Keanu Reeves, not real. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. Obama, that's a fake too. But his words are ringing true. Few believe this was actually the Ukrainian president asking his troops to surrender. It's what's called a deep fake. Videos created by artificial intelligence. What if I were to tell you that I'm not even a human being? Would you believe me? Seeing isn't always believing in this brave new world. We're going to have to question everything. Even our own show. Take a look at this. Australia's richest people have united to create an investment platform. As Andrew Forrest said, this project will help raise the standard of living. Scammers have come up with a fake Ali Langdon hosting an episode of A Current Affair that never happened. Gina Reinhart also said people need a new source of income and said she uses the new platform. Alison, I really hope you're right. Um, it is absolutely critical for Australia to keep up its revenue now, Gina's real, but her voice, like Ali's, has been cloned. But even with those poorly dubbed American-sounding imitations, this fake has sadly fooled some. These people are a scam. They're not from Australia. This is fake. While homemade artificial video and pictures, like Pope in a Puffer Jacket, are getting better by the day, voice cloning is already eerily scary and easy. Scammers who used artificial intelligence to clone her daughter's voice. Yeah, this is crazy. They actually made her believe they had kidnapped her 15-year-old and then they demanded a ransom. Mom, I, I, I messed up and she's sobbing and crying. The technology exploded last month. I stand before you not as an expert, but as a concerned citizen. A cloning company took Leo's words and made podcaster Joe Rogan do the talking. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. Apple's Steve Jobs. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. And Robert Downey Jr. As an actor, I pretend for a living. But it is so close to being real, it's a bit scary. While three seconds will get you a poor imitation, tech expert Trevor Long explains a 30-minute sample of someone's voice will get a near match. Let's say they've got five minutes of you. You might have posted on social media some videos. Whether it's kids or adults posting videos of yourself talking, they take that, they put it into these websites, it learns the, learns the person, and then you just type and it speaks. Trevor's cloned himself by reading 20 minutes of a David Attenborough documentary. He then types whatever words he likes and presses play. Do you think I'd be able to tell the difference? Well, let me play your sample and see whether you think this is a recording of me speaking or artificial intelligence. AI, or artificial intelligence, refers to the ability of machines to perform tasks that would typically require human intelligence, such as learning, problem solving and decision making. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. So close, fans of superstars Drake and The Weeknd thought this track was actually them. After 16 million views online in two days, Universal Music brought in The Lawyers. Heart on my sleeve, an AI hit. It's really easy. And that's, I guess, one of the downsides. It could put us out of a job because it is that easy. Mark Christopher Lee from UK band The Pocket Gods has released a new album which could be a world first. It's a double side, one made by humans, the other by machine. AI's there, we're not going to disinvent technology because you can't do that. The best thing we do is get on board of it and see how we can use it. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? The reality of AI, it's only going to get better. Those movies are no longer so dreamy. I'm hungry. 
Hey, boy, give me some chicken nuggets. Thank you, sir. No need for thanks. Get me some fries, too. Now the cat's out of the bag, it seems the race is on to be bigger and better than the next tech company. And you can't put the genie back in the bottle. It's unlikely our laws will be able to keep up with the pace of change. Susan McLean from Cyber Safety Solutions says AI has already fallen into the wrong hands. What I'm getting reported to be now is that young boys are engaging online and they're asked just for a general photo, hey, what do you look like? Send a picture. So they will send a photo back, fully clothed, but then using AI and deep fake technology that is manipulated into a nude image or is manipulated into an image that is humiliating or embarrassing, it is sent back to them with a demand for money. Most AI software producers are policing their own users, but there are some who aren't. What we have to do is educate and we have to raise awareness because there is still a subset of people who believe not me and not my kid, and that is not the real world any longer. This is all way too early, it's unregulated, and it's going to be very hard for governments to nip in the buds. But at the same time, it's a new world and an exciting one. And that wasn't me. If you like what you're seeing, just wait till what's coming next. <laughs> Ooh, it was rather ominous, wasn't it? And I tell you what, kind of makes you wonder who or what we can trust, doesn't it?